the optional problem number three, we have already done that in class. Okay. Just look up what we have done in class. Number three, both of them we have done in class. The first one is uh, proving conservation of uh, angular momentum. Okay. The second one is proving conservation of uh, total and total mechanical energy. So let's look at. You said the first. Hey, you look at number um, four. I just sure, have one sure. question. Okay. I'm trying to find the path is at the eighty towards the radius of the moon. Altitude. Yes, that's a good question. So typically, if you are given altitude. So here, altitude is 80 kilometers, right? Now keep in mind, when we talk about, or whenever we are using the formulas, we don't use altitude in them, okay? Our formulas are mostly, if this is your central body, let's say this is moon, mm -hmm. right? And this is where you are orbiting. Okay. Altitude is this distance. Right. Okay. You have to add the radius. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So all those, all that data will be given to you. Alright. Are we gonna have a problem on number on number six on the tip? Number six. We have a problem on the tip. Yeah. Yes, the part of that could be on the could be asked on the exam. Okay. So, for example, let's let's do that number six. I think that's a good uh, this thing. So, think about what your so an unmanned satellite orbits Earth with a perigee radius of seven thousand kilometer and an apogee radius of seven seventy thousand kilometers. This is a very much a, a problem for exam. So what is given to you? Uh, Number six. Uh, uh, RP is seven thousand. Yeah. R A. R A is seventy thousand. Alright. In this case, what do you need to know what kind of what kind of um, orbit your satellite is in? Like what kind of orbit is the satellite is in? Elliptical. Elliptical. So it's, it's one orbit, so it's not, it's not um, even. It's not certain. Yes. And then the other two go to infinity. So, that would be so this is This is the kind of uh, judgment I'm looking for you, from you as part of exam. If I ask you what kind of orbit this is, you should not hesitate. Even without blinking, you should say elliptic. Does that make sense? If I ask you to mark it, if I ask you to draw an orbit and mark it, can you do this? Can we draw all these orbits and stuff on the exam? They don't have to be perfect, right? They're going to take off this. I don't have that. If, I, if in the exam, I'll give you extra credit if you draw me, give me a perfect. I mean, actually, in fact, I'm going to insist that you give me, if you're not going to give me a perfect orbit, I might deduct one or two points. Huh? I need you to do this because this is important. All right, let me do this. Huh? All right, let's do this. This exam, I'm going to excuse you if you don't draw a perfect orbit. But if you do give it to me, this midterm, uh, assignment is fine, okay? But midterm, I'm going to excuse you. Final, I'm not going to excuse you. Okay. All right. Is that fair? You have enough time to buy a divider or whatever you want to buy. How about a bottle? And it's a circle for 
How do you know the center? You are going to guess. I can measure it. For an ellipse, how are you going to do it? That is the point. When you draw an ellipse, if you draw it using those two foci, you know where the foci is. Right? If you just draw it, you have to guess where it is. Okay? So here, this is, how do you calculate eccentricity? How do you calculate eccentricity? The first question is eccentricity, right? Oh, uh, Have you started preparing your e, e, uh, formula sheet? E, right, exactly. That's all. Okay. I will write it down, Julian, but you need to you need to do this yourself, okay? This is what will this is what is going to come to exam and I am asking you to prepare formula sheet. You should have started to prepare the formula sheet by now and this formula should be in your formula sheet. See me, I cannot give, I don't want to give you everything. I want the, the it's not about memorizing this formula. This, everything, you, you, know, you should know how to think, how to apply. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else is there? Uh, the tsunami axis. Okay, anybody? Julian, you want to take a crack? Semi major axis. The tsunami major axis is just like a portion of your of your uh, R. It's like A R. Give me the formula. It is not even a formula here, it is your basic understanding. I don't know, so, so, oh, there should be, isn't it A equals uh, um, RP? That's for us, sir. Uh, there should be uh, Don't go by formula. What is semi-major axis? It's A, 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 I got you. Huh? So, RP plus RA equals 2A. Yeah. And you can divide that by 2. It's as simple as this. You are not studying, Carlos. It's the most powerful. Huh? It's the most doesn't matter. If it doesn't pass the course, you're not going to be going anywhere. You're not going to apply anything. <laughs> Okay. All right, next one. Let's see who can attempt the superior of the orbit. T. Right. Equals uh, superior of the orbit. Superior of the orbit. I know. I know. A. I know the point outside is A to the G over two. Right. It's two pi over. Uh, uh term of the mu R R three to the, uh, A. Right. A to the G over two. So you know this. This is constant. This is constant. You just need this A. You have already calculated it. Right? So don't write down the formula. See, this will not help. Drop your pens, please. Drop your pens, drop your cell phones. All these are given to you. You are writing again and again. You are not learning to apply. You are writing this twice. This is redundant. No point in writing this. Pay attention. Drop, drop the pen, pencil. Answer my question. Engage. This is all. This is that. You are going to again write it, and you are going to lose it. Apply your mind. If you want to look up, drop the pen. Look up and tell me how this, how to calculate. That might be useful. Go through your notes and tell me how it's used. How you can apply this. Can you do that? Does it fit? Right. So this, does this make sense? This formula is given to you, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to know how to apply. Alright? Now let's look at the fourth one, D. The specific energy of the orbit. 
specific energy of the orbit. What do you know about the specific energy of the orbit? Can you give me a range? Is that the specific energy? Not for looks, the energy is zero, right? That is the eccentricity you're talking about. It's less than zero. It's less than zero. Less than zero. Less than zero. Epsilon? Epsilon is a specific energy. What's the between zero and one? That's the best paradigm. Less than zero. Less than zero. What is the formula to calculate the specific energy? It's equal to the specific energy. It's 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 can you use this? No. Because you know you don't know this, you don't know this. But can you use this? Yes. This I gave it to you last class. Look back in your notes. If you are taking your notes and if you are going through this, this is this is the trick. That's a trick here. Very simple trick. As soon as you are done, go back and read your notes just once. It will take you 15 minutes, not even 15 minutes. You will immediately remember. Because what you are doing in class is you are taking notes. You are not paying attention. And if you are not paying attention, you should at least go back, quickly go back and review your notes. That will save hours of your frustration and trying to, you will take the same notes again but it not, will not make any sense. Okay. What is the true anomaly yeah. at yeah. which uh, the altitude is 1000 kilometers? Anybody want to take a track, track at this? True anomaly Yes, exactly. At altitude equal to thousand kilometers. So we use the um, oh, R equal to the square of mu. Huh? We use the R equal to the square of mu. Yeah, you have to use that. So you have to use this formula. Hmm? What is being asked? True anomaly, right? What is true anomaly? Theta. Which formula has pro now? What is R here? Uh, that would be plus, no, 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 it's the uh, radius. How is it plus no, the radius? No, 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 no. Okay, here R is 1000 plus. So is, it, is mu just going to be the radius then? Mu is a constant. Uh, mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you may need to compute H. Okay. Hmm? H is H is specific angular momentum. This is R. So what is given to you is again I told you this example. Okay. I'll give you another example. Here, what is the central body here in this problem? Look at the problem. It's given to you. 
Oh, read the problem. What is the central body? Somebody read the problem. Uh, an unmanned satellite orbits Earth with a perigee of radius of 7,000 uh, kilometers. In you have to have to stop somewhere. Uh, there's no there's no periods. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> an unmanned satellite orbits Earth. What is the central body? Earth. Earth. So all these parameters, mu, uh, e is given to you, right? H square, how are you going to compute H? Hmm? You cannot do that. Though. No, no, H, H is uh, R times your perpendicular. Yes, I mean, How are you going to compute it? R times V Look up this formula. Somebody told me this formula. A is equal to what? Huh? H square over mu. 1 minus. E square. I have given you this formula. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, you can get it. Yeah. Hmm? You want to rearrange it? Hmm? Yeah, everything is known here, right? A is known. In fact, what you can do is you just have to calculate A square over mu. Your E is known, right? Mm -hmm. A square of mu, substitute it, you are going to get theta. Oh, okay. so like A times 1 minus E square is going to equal A square of mu? E is this. Right. But I'm saying like. What you need is H square over mu. Yeah, you're right, guys. Okay. Okay. You can calculate, you are given A, you are given E, you just move 1 minus E square on the other side, you are going to get H square over mu. Substitute that here. You are going to get you, A square over mu is known, E is known, R is given to you, you need to calculate theta. Right. VR and B perpendicular at the points found in part E. V is 
D square is what? You did this, right? You have done this several times. You see, this is if this is your orbit, okay? The V is this, right? VR is this. V perpendicular is this. So V perpendicular, V square is V R square plus V perpendicular square. You have done this several times. You did, uh, remember you did uh, <coughs> Which equation? Uh, this is not an equation. No, 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 no. This is the equation, yeah. but you need to solve for this first. So you need, you know this, right? You just calculated this, right? What is this? Uh, thousand plus R e. Mu, you know, minus two, you know. So you just have to uh, calculate v square. You know v square. You just calculated v perpendicular square from here. V R square would be V square minus square root of V square minus V perpendicular. Okay. Is it V square H over R? Hmm? Is it V square H over R? You can do V square H over R. No, no, I'll say that. Is it V equal H over R? Let's be just be perpendicular. Yes, yeah, that is what it is. This hmm? But do you see how you calculate VR? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? All right. The last one, the speed at the perigee and apogee. You were given the circumference and you had a time. Hmm? I said you were given the circumference and you had the time. Giving you what? Like, we were given the circumference and we You were given the circumference? So we got rid of the distance. What circumference? The distance is the RP is 7,000 hmm? 7, meters and RA is 7. Is that circumference? I mean, is it the thickness of the two points? It's like, If this R mm -hmm. is this, mm -hmm. what is this? The <laughs> speed, not velocity. I'm sorry, max, max speed. Speed at that's the max speed. The speed that is the VP. Oh. So this is RA, this is the minimum. So that is RA. This is VA. How what is H at at very answer? What have you learned about H? It's a constant. So anywhere on the on the orbit A will be the same. So these two are varying. You understand? And this is give R P is given to you, R A is given to you, one R is given to you. So these velocities will change. At the periapsis and at the apoapsis at P and at A. Okay. R is VR 
is zero. Mm -hmm. So, why you said that again? Huh? Can you explain why you said that again? Here, so here it is strictly tangential. Here the component only is tangential. Here V is V perpendicular. VR is zero. Here V is V perpendicular. VR is zero. So VA or VP is here. VA. I won't ask you F or G. All others are fair game. Okay. What else do you want to know? Um, so with number one, mm. I understand what the what Kepler's first law is. Mm. So are you trying to are you trying to tell me to uh, say something about how? Um, what do you know about Kepler's first law? It says that planets follow elliptical paths. Stress right. one word. The elliptical. Okay, that's what I would think. Stress one one word. Say one word. Elliptical. Right. And then you want to talk about that, right? So what do you know about the Orbit equation. Orbit equation. Okay. About. Okay. I know what it is. I was curious. Does does is uh, Josh making sense to any of you? <laughs> is he? Do you know what uh, what he's talking about? The first question. Have you looked at the first question? Did you understand what the question is? It's a one point question. It's a one point. If you, it's, if you get it in an exam, it will be essentially two or three points. I'm not asking you a derivation. I'm just asking explain why the uh, orbit equation or Kepler's first law is a special case of orbit equation. Okay. I was curious about it. Okay. Anything, anything else? Uh, number five. Hmm. Uh, do you just want us to, um, to get the time period equation and then you rearrange stuff that they get little t equals a big t? You can do that way. Mm -hmm. Or what do you know about Kepler's third law? You don't know anything about Kepler's third law? I'm not doing but I didn't study it so I can play off the top of my head. Right. Kepler's third law. How many of you are really preparing for the exam? How many of you are, are planning to take the course again in fall? Again in sorry, uh, next fall, yeah. I'm gonna just take it again because I need to this. No, I've been studying, I just had a lot. I had a really big test Saturday, and then I had a really big math test today. But I've looked at it, so I through my notes. It doesn't seem like any of you have, much, many of you have uh, even looked at the assignment. Have you looked at the assignment? Yeah. You don't have any questions? Can we go over number three? Right, let's, let's do number five first. Okay, number five, what is the... The third law is the square of the orbital period of the planet is proportional to the cube of the same. Tell me the second law, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, the second law. Mm -hmm. A planet is orbiting around the, the sun, mm -hmm. trace equal areas and equal time. Okay. So, if the, can you apply that here? What is capital T? Make it simpler. Uh, no, no, what is capital T? One orbit, time taken from for a satellite to go from this point to this point. Okay. What is small t here? Huh? 
It is T over 3, right? Yeah. It's a one third the time taken by the FI completing the entire orbit. What do you know from the second law? Torius? Planets are orbiting around the sun trace equal areas and equal times. Okay. What does that mean? Each section go the same distance in the same amount of time it takes to go around the sun. Not same distance. Equal same area. Distance. Same. Oh. It's not the same distance and area here. If you are talking about any elliptical orbit, it's not the same. If it's the circular orbits, the distance is the same. Okay. So here, what is the area? Hmm. Apply Kepler's third law. Oh, sorry, second one. Equal areas in equal time. What is the area? What kind of orbit is it? One third the area. One third means time taken. Right. Equal areas in equal time. One third the area of a so basically, so what I need to do is solve this problem for t, little t. So you just want to get t one, just one area of the small t. One three, three one over three. You can solve it, okay? Yes, I'll do some I can use Use this formula. Right. But you don't need to solve it. If you apply, you know what is the area of ellipse. Anybody? What is the area of area of a circle? Uh, sorry. Uh, what is the what is the area of a circle? Huh? Square. Two pi r. Two pi r. You are sure, Anthony? Yes. Are you going to bet your life on that? No. No. It's pretty big. No. Huh? It's not 2 pi r. What is the unit of 2 pi r? What is the unit of 2 pi r? It's your units. No, it's just your units. I can't actually do 2 pi r. What is the unit if you were to. It's meters, right? Yes. What is the unit of 2 pi r? unit of area? It has to be meter square, right? Oh, no, it's pi r square. Pi r square, okay? So pi r square is the area. What is the area of an ellipse? Let me see what Google says. Yes. What? What did you say? What is one third the area? So t over three in t over three times the area will be pi t over three. Equal area, equal time. Wait, wait, wait. So the answer pi a b by three. That's the answer. So you don't have to ask. You do it by whatever you want to do, you are going to still get the same thing. Wait, so why don't you bring this, why don't you bring this circle? Hmm? I just, I just want, see, people don't understand this. I mean, they are the same units, so that was different. Huh? You did it because they are the same units. No, no, see, what is this R? Radius. It is R into R. R multiplied by R, right? Yeah. For an ellipse, that is, what is A and B for, an, uh, for a circle? This is r, this is r. This becomes r square. For an ellipse, it is a, b. You understand? It's a major and minor. Major and minor, yeah. Major and minor are the same for circle. So if you are, if you are going to, if this is the time, okay, if, if you are taking one third the time period, you are going to traverse one third the area. That is what Kepler's second law says. So, 
So you get the same answer if you did. Uh, Whether you do it for circle, this is for circle, this is for. Oh, this is for really ellipse. Yeah, I'm saying if you did the more mathematical way. You are going to get the end of this. What else? Third one. Third one is already in the uh, notes, Julian. Just go check it out. I'm not, I don't want to repeat it again. It's, it has been done. Both of them. I've derived that for you. Oh, but this, I'm not getting it, man. I mean, I'm getting how to get that over. I did the mathematical way, and I didn't even get that. You need to think more. What? <laughs> Where's where the deep? Where, where are you going to pull up the deep from? I'm not asking you the. the so they're not going to look the same. No, I'm not asking you the, the numerical value. It's, there is nothing numerical there. Uh, I'm saying no, it's just that. It's just that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you see what I'm saying? No. Yes. I'm not going to see Criteria for a formula sheet is only formulas, no derivations, no solved examples. Okay. Yes. Is there any videos on this? Huh? Is there any? You have videos on this? There are two I'm uploading the video. This video will be uploaded. And all this, much of this material has been covered in the past lectures. All that is up on YouTube. I have given you, sent you the link to the video as well. So ask anybody, just search for Sharan Nasundi on YouTube. You should be able to. He's a cat, bro. Ah, he's a cat. He's a cat. Yes. He said that derivation of these are you write on the original equation and then the solution, but no. Okay, excuse me. No. But like, it's not a subtract, it's just the solution. This is what we're looking for. <laughs> I need you to write formulas as formulas. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Um. So the optional is not do. You you can do it. For example, <laughs> would you do optional option number six? I will. Because I'm going to test. You think option number three will not be on the test? Option number three is going to be on the test. I think all of them are on the test. You say like, I have to do something with my health because of the slides. You don't lose points on the do assignment. Do I have any points if I do it? No. Alright, so. Well, there's part B in our notes. Part D? For? Yeah, it's in the notes, yeah. Any other questions? I mean, you might as well talk about eight. You can talk about all the other ones. Huh? So you might as well just talk about eight. Eight? Eight. You can do it more. You just talk about all the other ones. The orbit equation which defines, uh, okay, here, that's a good question. That might be there on the exam as well. Describe the nomenclature. What do you mean by nomenclature? I'm just going to ask you what is R, what is A, what is E, what is theta? What is H? What is H? Hmm? I don't want you to tell it. Spark. Nomenclature. What is your nomenclature? I don't. I mean, I don't know what H is. That's all I'm asking. What is your nomenclature? What is your nomenclature? Uh, How do you identify yourself? I'm Josh. Hmm. You identify yourself as <laughs> Joshua Jackson. Don't tell me Josh. <laughs> That's my middle name. What is your middle name? My middle name. Hmm. <laughs> but nomenclature means identification. So it is Josh has long hair is not an identification. Or H is constant is not an identification. That is not nomenclature. H is a constant is not nomenclature. Nomenclature is strictly what you call it in orbital mechanics. So that this is the reason this is required because when you're going to go out there and have conversation. You are going to use that specific specific nomenclature. You are going to talk in terms of orbits, elliptical orbits. You are going to talk in terms of specific angular moments. I want you to understand that jargon or lingo of orbital mechanics. What, that's what nomenclature is. So that's what each specific angular moment Specific angular moment. 
orbit equation can you simplify the orbit equation for rp and ra we have done this in class no it's it's simply simplifying that for substitute values for theta we have done that in class okay right the c is simplify the orbit equation for parabola okay you have to how do you simplify for parabola what do you know about parabola but epsilon is not here so what do you know about parabola which is here just substitute that one and then you get that. that is what I'm looking for. Hyperbolic, don't worry about it. There is nothing specific to that. You said that you substitute one and then you substitute one. 